What's up, good people? This is your man, JD. In this podcast, me, Jay, and Q get into the Tank vs. Leo showdown and also the Haney vs. Gamboa showdown. So y'all keep it locked. You know the vibes. This ain't one of them times you can slide by what you say that you're gonna do. Put your money up, run that phase, time to show and prove. You know the vibes, huh? Ain't got no ways up in my guys. I clown in the day, gone in the mind, yeah, nah. I've been on fire lately. Train my spirit, mind, and body daily. Victory is sweet as the science, baby. It's only right we represent from Tampa to Tally. And keep the pressure on these eyes, they call you lacking. Till you flopping on the canvas and bombing and weaving. Unleashing the fury on your face while the audience screaming. Hope they got great seats or the pay per view. Let's get the breakdown from JDJ and Q. You know the vibes. What up, boxing world? It's Boxing Vibes TV. We're back to give you a skinny on a busy month of boxing in November. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce the crew. We got JD. Uh huh. Hey, hey. Pod quote of the day. I broke my back. Spinal. <laughs> Mike Tyson. We Mike got, Tyson, we, man. We got Q in the building. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where your flags in the air, huh? Hey, you got <laughs> you, and you got you you got yours truly, the moderator of the madness. Mm-hmm. Jay James is what they call me. Y'all can call me Jay. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the first topic, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Javante Davis pulled out a Looney Tunes mallet in a sixth round, leaving Leo Santa Cruz on the canvas unconscious. Uh. Up until that point, it was a great fight, right? Mm-hmm. So the question is: I know you guys were entertained, but were you impressed? You take that, bro. Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, you. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, take it. So, I'm gonna just third man know you clap. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, first of all, first of all, he go, he, he, he 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 gonna he gonna stun on us because back when back play boys and girls back, back back when it was a connector with question on the previous show, he actually called it accurate. We thought it was gonna be potential uh-huh. fight of the year. Right. He said it was a whiff because right. Tank was gonna get him out of there early. Salute, salute. So, so we, we gonna, gonna, gonna give him a round of applause. So, so, hey. so if, if y'all are wondering, y'all tuning in for the first time, he about to sell out for that reason. So uh-huh. go ahead, Q. Go ahead, take it. So, but, no, no, no. Oh, boy. So first thing first, man, I'm not sure if everybody aware of this, but that light button hasn't been smashed. <laughs> you're right. You're right. That, right there. Smash mm-hmm. the like button. Uh-huh. No kidding. Subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so um, with that, with that fight, like I said, it went how I said it was gonna go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying to the T. And um, I mean, you know, the, the bottom line is just listen to what I say. The bottom line <laughs> is listen to what I say. No, but, but Tank, Tank gave Tank gave what, and, and my man Santa Cruz did what he said he was gonna do. You know, uh-huh. mano, mano, he came. I mean, he came. He saw. He he tried to conquer. He got you know, conquered. He got conquered. He huh? got shot by Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not the, Anyways, I feel like he 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 could have he could have aired that fight out in my opinion if if he would have used control control uh aggression. You know who, who's who, like who's that? Javante? Yeah, like he finna get that man out. Like he finna get Tank out of there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you talking oh, about Santa Cruz? Okay. Santa Cruz. I don't, I don't even know what. No, 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 no. You you were right. I was just wondering who you were talking about. But you were talking yeah, about if Santa yeah, Cruz like, would use control of aggression. Been, yeah, I mean, because I feel like, you know, the, through the first six, I mean, it, it was a pretty it was a pretty close fight. Mm-hmm. And I, it, it could go into, you know, the eyes of the beholder, the judges. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it wasn't a dominant on either side. But, man, once you want to take it to the phone booth and really go there, man, and, them ju- and, and, and you know, we got announcers, they wanted it. They cursed him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they cursed him. On cue. They were like, oh. Yeah, Santa, they were like, Tank, though, he was going to do this and do that. But uh-huh. my man right here, he taking his punches down. Woo! Uh-huh. Nap time, huh? Nap time. Smell of salt. Can somebody bring out the smell of salt? <laughs> we need to be a You know what I'm saying? It uh-huh. turned into him. We were scared for that man because Leo Santa Cruz is an amazing guy, man. He's a great, great champion, a great fighter, man, and a great person. And, you know, mm-hmm. you don't want to see anybody down like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, it is what it is, man. I mean, thank God he's yeah. okay. But uh, I think a star was born. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Tank Davis, is a, he's a draw. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? He's a casual, and even for the hardcore fans, you you want to see, and everybody going to see a Tank Davis lineup. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And, and my thing is, I think he just earned himself some pay per view uh, buys. Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, he's somebody that we gonna want to tune in to see, man. And I promise you, bro, last December, I, I wish we would have been if I, because even before all of this happened, when we find out when I find out him again, boys fight, 
I was actually in Georgia, you know what I'm saying? Just around that same time, man. I didn't even know about the fight, but him and I, I was like, man, I would have went to that yeah. in Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, people people was already on him and want to see him fight. He's somebody that people draw to. But uh after a performance like this, man, I think he got one of the best upcuts in the game. Mm -hmm. I think my man uh, Leo Santa Cruz is like a junior Antonio Margarita, you know, master cheating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but and I I really think Tank Davis got he got a little Mike Tyson factor, man. He got a little mm -hmm. Mike Tyson factor. I think Mike Tyson, if maybe maybe a, a tad bit more aggressive and technically sound, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And and, and but I think that he has that it factor, and, and he definitely has that equalizer. He and, has. And, and, I mean, scale percentage is in the 90s. And, and I do want to make a correction to um, a previous show. Um, we were... Uh, we said he was coming up from 126 at 130. He had a belt at 130, and a fight happened at 130. So Javante walked away with his belt at 130 to make a um, just a, a, an amendment on a previous show. But go ahead, uh, JD, take it. Uh, were 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 you impressed? Well, what, was I impressed? I would have to say, yeah, yeah, I was impressed, man. <laughs> well, when you see an uppercut like that, my brother, I don't see how you cannot be impressed. Now, what I will say, man, is and ditto to everything y'all just previously previously said a pay-per-view star was born but i will go back to what i mentioned on a couple of previous pods i do not as a tank fan i would never say that the man is going to remain undefeated i do believe he has the ability to be beat but i would say that he will most definitely be a star because i don't believe there'll ever be a boring javante tank davis fight because at the end of the day he has two hammers in both hands that will hit you like a Mack truck, but at the same time, he can be hit himself. So I really, really, really have to say that I'm thoroughly impressed by the knockout, and I'm, I'm so excited to continue to see him fight and to see him get in there with some other real live dogs. Now, what I will say, I do not want to see him do any more, even though I know he's going to do it because he's oftentimes trained by Mayweather, is I want him to stop standing in the middle of the ring and doing the old Money Mayweather pot shotting to the stomach and to the chin. Okay. Because the one thing a lot of them forget about Money Mayweather is he had he some he unusual, no, he had some unusual length on those arms that was absolutely special. And when you look at Tank, Tank does not have that kind of length. So what we did see in rounds two and rounds three specifically, what we saw is every time he tried to do the Mayweather pot shot to the stomach or to the chin, combinations from Leo, Leo was coming back with two or three punches. Combinations. And at the end of the day, he does not have the length to hit him with that jab or that pot shot and slide out before getting hit with something. Well, so that, that's what made it really a dicey fight up until we saw him uh, get KO'd. And I think a, a major component he may be missing too, he doesn't have... Mayweather's elusivity. Right, you right, know, right. And uh -huh. to, to get in and out of pocket and to operate in that. Now, don't get me wrong. He has good head movement. You know, he's a bit more stationary than he should be. Mm -hmm. um, so, both of you, you know, were impressed by the knockout. And, and the knockouts were mm -hmm. up until the knockout. Mm -hmm. The question is, were you impressed? Up until the knockout? I actually would have to say probably not. But what I will say... And, and the reason why I, I say that I wasn't impressed is because I felt like, kind of to what I just recently stated, he was employing the wrong game plan. Because what I will say is, again, I feel like, you know, I feel like Tank isn't the top lightweight. I feel like he is not the top lightweight when you compare him to the other, the other fighters in the division. But what I need them to not stop doing is mimicking and following Floyd Money Mayweather, well, man. I need him to go out and fight his fight, get in his chest, get in that phone booth, and put him out of there. So, so well, that, that that brings us to kind of the next topic, right? So, one of the ways we compare fighters is like opponents, right? right? Mm -hmm. We, you know, and so, it, and, and of course, styles make fights. So, one guy might have a better performance against the same, you know, the same guy. We've seen that with Manny Pacquiao, mm -hmm. you know. Mayweather and Pacquiao both fought Ricky Hatton with two right. completely different ways to fight finish. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I, which brings me to a more recent fight that happened between Devin Haney mm -hmm. and Yuri Yorkis Gamboa. Right. So, the same question remains. Were you all impressed? You go ahead and take it. I'm going to take it first, man. 
mainly because Devin Hamer was a guy that I had high hopes for into mm-hmm. being the the top guy in his weight class. Um, a lot of it, you know, I met him and you know, I, I thought it was dope. You know what I'm saying? You know that that's part of it, fandom. I met him right, personally, right, right. and um, you know, it's very cool. Personality but, um, sells tickets too, yeah. That does, but also. Um, I know he's a pug- he's a pugilist. He's he's a he's pure pugilist at heart. Yeah, mm-hmm. good footwork. You know what I'm saying? You know he has great skill, and um, he also, you know, he's he's young, hungry, and he, you know, he ain't scared of nobody. But what I did know, I mean, this fight exposed that he don't have the punching power, man. He had a pop, you know, at least it didn't look like it. I wanted to get hit. Maybe Gamboa had Zona Kane all over his face and his body. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Just for my eye test, and that's my specialty. It ain't it ain't all the numbers and all of the stats. That's me. So right. that's what I got. And so with that being said, it, it, it really, man, it was a snooze fest, man, just mm-hmm. because, I mean, he, he, he was dominant in winning rounds, but do you want to watch, do you want to stay up all night and watch this shit? <laughs> That's what it was, you know. What I'm that would have turned into, and um, personally, you know, I, I just feel like, cause I mean, it was high. He got he had a reach of like he got seventy two inches of reach, man, mm-hmm. like six and seven one and a half inches, and that's crazy for a lightweight. That's mm-hmm. dumb crazy. But without that pop, somebody will walk through that. Yeah, somebody will walk through them punches, and yeah. you know they'll take a few to get to get you one or two. Yeah, and then one or two you might not appreciate once they get in there. Yeah, so. I feel like he gonna have to he gonna have to work on something, man. I mean, he might have to elbow somebody or something. <laughs> <laughs> it like it was like it was slap boxing, bro. Yeah. No disrespect, man. No disrespect. JD, what it, you thought it, about? It, wait, it, man. Like, were yeah, were you before. impressed with Devin Haney's no. performance? I, 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 I got us because he he set the bar. He uh-huh. set the bar, and um he didn't he didn't he like both of the guys he compared himself to. He uh-huh. didn't stop. He didn't, they were stops, and he didn't stop them. And this how the other loss that Gamboa got. He was stopped also. This, 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 like hey, hey, so so yeah. for the audience yeah. watching, this, this how this go. If I if I if I let Q go, he'll go on forever. So I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm gonna let JD take hey. it. And let me ask you, were you impressed? So was I impressed? Um, I gotta say that I I, I wasn't impressed, but. It was a great fight. And to everybody out there, time man. Out, time uh, out. Uh, go it ahead. was a great fight or it was a great performance? Great fight? performance. Okay. Great, great performance. Just, it, it, it was a great performance. But let me let me say something to all the, the, the online haters, haters of Devin Haney right now who knocking the fight, saying Lord, that it was Lord, horrible, all that kind of stuff. At the end right. of the day, he did fight a good fight. But I will not let Haney get away with this. And, Jay, you touched on it. Cause I'm sure Haney's probably sitting there saying, you know, man, I put on a world class performance, man. I went out there and did my thing, man. <laughs> he ain't went around, man. And he's probably wondering why all the people online are saying that it was a snooze fest, right? But when you specifically choose a Uriokis Gamboa, like you said, Jay, who we saw uh, be bapped by Bud Crawford, mm-hmm. who we saw just recently fight Tank. The expectation for a KO was so elevated. And he that is where, all, and that's where, as far as Haney is concerned, it was a great fight because you can never say it wasn't a good performance when somebody wins absolutely every single round in the fight. You can't, you can't say that it was a bad fight, but overall, what I'm, what I'm kind of saddest about, and, this, and we'll see if this is truly the real picture in the next fight, is that we do have a fighter who has world-class skill in Devin Haney. I, I truly see world-class skill, but I fear after what we witnessed on Saturday night, we witnessed a fighter that does not have world-class power, and well, I don't see that. It, well, and I'm going to throw, I'm, I'm, I'm throw in something here. So for me, the problem I, the problem I have with it is, you know, mm-hmm. uh, having world-class power is not a prerequisite for mm-hmm. being a great fighter, right? That that's it. Sometimes you can overwhelm people, you know. At, uh-huh. at the heavyweight division, we would never say Tyson Fury is just this great, you know, guy has this world class power. You know, mm-hmm. he's not the knockout artist that you know of the heavyweight right. division. So for me, the problem I, I I mainly had with it was he had every advantage. He was the younger, he was the longer, mm-hmm. he was the faster, he was the healthier fighter. Now, mind you, uh, Yuri Okus again, both was just coming off an Achilles. Mm-hmm. Right, he had every. Hold on, Haney's had thirty also. I, I I get that, but Haney's also not thirty eight years old. 
So, so, yeah. so, so my point, the problem I had with it was, okay, you don't have the power, but overwhelm them. You had all uh -huh. the tools to overwhelm them, right? And that's the thing that really kind of took me back. Was like, wait a minute, where so, you're kind of so, so like you saying he ain't got that dog in him? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> where, I mean, I'm not. I don't want to. Uh -huh. I don't want to write the book on him just yet. But I'm like, where's the combinations? Where's the pressure? Where's it was? Look, it looked like he was more concerned with getting through this test and not getting hit instead of putting on a performance. And I feel like he was trying to protect something more than he was trying mm -hmm. to earn something. And you know, and, and what, what I think the biggest question now with Haney, if we talk about, cause, cause you're right. It, it's not maybe necessary for you to have the most elite power in the world to be a, a, a legendary fighter or a great fighter. But I think when a lot of us see Haney, I don't believe any of us see him remaining at, what, 130, 135? 135, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think any of us see him remaining there. So when we see him at this weight class, have an inability to really hurt opponents, boy, if he ever step in that welterweight division, bro. Woo. If he so ever steps into that welterweight division, bro, like, you know, it, it, like, it's, it's going to be some real fireworks, man. Because Q, you said it before, there will be fighters who are going to walk through a few of those punches. And, 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 and if he doesn't deter them, He's, they coming with bombs. So, so let me. Let, 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 I, I want to direct a question at Q. Okay, so if you had to rank them, because we had, you know, when you're sw swimming around in shark infested waters in that 135 division, you got a lot of people looking for edge, looking for an edge, looking for advantages, trying to smell blood to see a weakness. And you already had Tiafimo Lopez calling the email champ, right? Um, and you had Ryan Garcia calling out Tank Davis because he saw he may have saw some vulnerabilities, right? I want Probably, that fight. Yeah, that's the fight I want. So, so if you had to rank those four, right? If you had mm -hmm. to rank Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, uh, TFM, mm -hmm. at this point, right and, now, and and, and and Devin Haney, right now I'm gonna go uh, TFM or Devin number one. Okay, easy, right? Yeah, I agree number with one. That. I'm gonna put Tank at number two just because, I mean, of his last performance. I'm gonna put Tank at number two okay. because mm -hmm. it, it, he's fought the best competition at this point right. besides Seal. I'm mm -hmm. put yeah, and honestly, man, um, Ryan and Ryan Garcia and um, Devin Haney, I think. I don't know. I, they, they, uh, it remains to be seen, but I'll probably go at this point. I might go Ryan, then Devin. I don't know. I don't really uh, know. Oh, okay. okay. So, so, so we, 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 we got to do? Oh, shoot, I'm, I'm pretty close to Q's uh, list. I'm going to have it number one, Tiafima Lopez. Number two is going to be Tank Davis. And then right now, I'm still gonna give the nod to Devin Haney right now. I'm still gonna give Devin the Haney, uh, Devin, give him the the number three spot, and then I'll give Ryan the number four spot right now because Ryan's got to show me a little bit more before I kind of catapult him uh, up above number three because I feel like his resume at this point is probably the most suspect out of all four. So it's just that left hook to the body. Uh, he got. Uh, he got so he got a crazy left hook. So, I love so, that left hook. So I want to say something that we we can say about all of them. Well, with the exception of, I think at this point in time we can say Teal certified, right? You know. Oh, oh, but, oh, he's but, certified. So, 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 uh, but I yeah. do want to say something about the other three, right? And you know, this is when cream rises to the top. This is when the the champions, the the great fighters, get separated from the good fighters. It's adversity when you're in the ring, mm -hmm. you're hurt, or you got a dog in front of you that's not quitting. Or you got a journeyman that you're supposed to dominate, and it's a rough fight, like when um, uh, Fury fought. Oh, he didn't oh, get a memo. Yeah, he didn't uh -huh. get a, you know, so, so I, that's one thing. It's going to be interesting to see, and I and I wonder if they're going to be that for each other. If they're going to be that test, that tough fight. So it's going to be interesting to see later down the road uh -huh. how we look at these guys after they get some real deal test, right? Um, and not fights are supposed to just showcase their talent. So, um. In the end, I mean, they're all good fighters. They're all talented. But I think that's going to be, when we look back on this and we rank mm -hmm. them in two, three years, I think we're going to look at it like out of that class, mm -hmm. um, there was guys who really showed they could handle adversity, getting hurt, maybe even getting knocked down and getting back up and really impress us. Um, so it leads me to a, a, a little bit more rapid fire part of the show. Um, connect connect the with. Mm -hmm. or with, right? And so with the first one, we're going to start with, and this is, we've all seen the, the video out there, you know, going viral and, and everybody's reacted to it from Teddy Atlas uh -huh. to, um, I, was it Chisora you told me that reacts to? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's Chisora, mm -hmm. uh, Tia Fima Lopez. Um, 
Connect or with Deontay Wilder has lost the respect of the boxing community. Go ahead, take it, Q. All right, so I'm gonna say real quick, man. I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say he has to a large to a large degree. Not to connect, not collectively, but yes, connect. Just and just I'm gonna say real quick, just because the the excuse the certain excuses he put out there, man. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and don't get me wrong, I really feel some of them are bad. Tyson Fury has been a cheater. He's been mm-hmm. caught cheating more than one occasion. So with that being said, uh, it's just like when you, when you go to Mark Breland and you want to go out on your shield, I'm like, bro, you, I was at that fight. You know what I'm saying? And you, you might, like, you, you wasn't there. People that wasn't in the ring. Like, you wanted a body, you could have been a body. Mm-hmm. You could have been a body. Because right. you was out of there, man. And regardless of how it happened, right. that man could have possibly saved your life. Who that exactly. Right. I don't care. To... So, so with that being said. It's a connect. Um. Yeah, 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 man. And, um, go ahead, go ahead, JD. I'm gonna say, man. I'm gonna say overall. I, I think it's most definitely um, a connect. But for me, it's actually not a connect if we look at just the Tyson Fury piece of it. And the only reason why I say it's not a connect if we look at the Tyson Fury piece is because we have allegations being made against a fighter who has oh, been Patrick. known to be a cheater in the past. Like right. I said, a lot no, of people we, forget we, about it. We, 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 we ain't doing this middle of the road. Is it a connect or is it a whiff? Hey, man, it's a connect. But back to my point, though, with Tyson Fury, everybody forget. My man was around here at uh at Golden Corral eating wild boar. <laughs> and he said that was the reason. It was tainted me. Why, why he tested so, positive for so, steroids. So, hey, if it works for vanilla, it can work for Fury. Who knows? You know what I mean? All right, so, so I do want to say this, and I don't need to be jumping on this connect. We're going to need to keep it moving. I will say there's a significant difference from the way Cotto handled the Margarito situation mm-hmm. and the way Deontay Wilder's handling this. You're a yeah, fighter. Right, right, you, right. you get fights. Uh-huh. You fight. You you know, That's what you do. You know, so I get it. You have your beef with him. Uh, complaining about it ain't going to change it. Have somebody mm-hmm. in there like the great Nazim Richardson checking them gloves. You know, you, you should yeah. be checking up on your P's and Q's. You should be wearing a 40-pound weight uniform right and, and seeing so, and all that all that's but fine today but, but, but we can't do this yeah yeah we, we, it's, we it's mark breeland i don't like how he did mark breeland though all right so the second connector with keith thurman mm-hmm. is going to get to fight errol spence or bud crawford in 2021 connector with i go first with a connect because i pray it will be mm-hmm. i would like to see that that's all i got i don't know anything man I, I, i'm gonna say man, i'm gonna I'm call it a whip based on uh, what i hope to see yeah, I'm, I'm going to call it a whiff, man. I'm going to call it a whiff because I think top of next year, I believe that we see Keith Thurman versus Ugas. And then I think somehow, some way, things don't pan out in, in the fall of 2021. Well, if Keith Thurman beat Ugas, it, that, that might be more of a connect if he beat Ugas. Mm-hmm. So that would be a good fight. Mm-hmm. So, which, which brings us to the last connected whiff, and, and this is kind of this is kind of something that got me fired up a little bit. Um, connect a whiff, a good, it was a good idea for Bud to re-up the top rank in 2018. Connect her with. Go ahead, Q, take it. How you say hell no? <laughs> so I think that's a, that's a whiff. A whiff? Uh, R.P. to Addison, babe. You feel me? Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, man, I feel like <laughs> Bud put his career in jeopardy. Mm-hmm. Y'all saw what I just did? By going back to top rank. Yeah. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? Because, like, real talk and something else I saw, because we got a whole video talking about what Bud, talking about Bud Crawford at 147, which he ain't done nothing as far as fight the top fight. Yeah. Top rank also, top rank got a lot to do with that. But um, I feel like Major B- Bud Crawford. Major Wiff? Me, personally, I, I said that Keith Thurman is the fight I want to see, number one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, or Kell Brook. So I'm excited to see him and Kell Brook fight. But um, I feel like Porter, I don't want to see him fight Porter. Uh, it got to be Errol Spence, Pacquiao, 1A, 1B, uh, A1, A2. Then, then Thurman is third. You know what I'm saying? After Thurman, like, I even go uh, Danny Garcia. But, I, like, like we talking about Sean Porter, he like four or five. So, you know, I don't want to see Hold on, hold on, hold on. on. We're going to put some respect. Go. Hey, Showtime, go, Porter's hey, name. Hey, hey, but go ahead. Is, is, it, is, it a, is it a connect I respect, or with Jake? I respect Sean Porter, but I'm just telling you for mm-hmm. who, took, who took how many L's. Connect and uh-huh. who took uh-huh. be connected with. <laughs> go ahead, JD. Let me see, I'm going to say, man, uh, I, I will call it a whiff. All right. I will call the 2018 extension a whiff. Of course, in hindsight, because we have all witnessed how 
the boxer community is clamoring for that major bud fight. So I will say in hindsight, it's very easy for all of us to say that that 2018 extension is a whiff, bro. Hindsight. So, well, I'm going to jump in on this because, you know, uh, I like to get on the last one. Um, hindsight, you have foresight. I mean, what what legend has finished with Bob Arum? I mean, we saw uh -huh. what happened to Pacquiao, uh -huh. and, and and for me, we we, we have. A, hey man, he still got time, bro. Look at his age. He's thirty. He's thirty. Uh -huh. oh, hold on, hold on. Time out. Uh -huh. Time out. He's thirty two years old, and he uh -huh. hasn't had a mega fight yet. I do not want to hear anything about nothing about. Oh, in hindsight, he should have already had a major. Me Here's the funny thing, right? Uh huh. He has had I don't know how many pay per view fights, right? Bob Arum has also had. Uh, Lomachenko, he has two pound for pound fighters. I guarantee you, in the past ten years, they are the two lowest grossing pay per view fighters in the history of boxing. And 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 that's why when you say hindsight, I mean Bud had foresight. He knew all the fighters hey, were hey, over. Hey, he, hey. he knew all the fighters were at PBC, right? So I don't know why you do a deal like that. You know, you just increased your odds right. of contract contractual difficulty. Unless he liked how he was being taken care of over at top rank. Hey, listen, but then man. again, but then again, you know, and, and one of the disagreements I'm just gonna say right now, offset that we have, is you think that he shouldn't force a way out of a contract. And I'm like, I, I don't mind him taking a hundred more. Bro, 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 bro. Hey, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me get on, let me get on, let me get on that, bro. Hold up. There's no way. All right, first off. We gonna forget the past, man. My dog's still back in two years ago, man. We we gonna leave that alone. Okay, let's listen. start from right now. Listen, so start from right now, man. What I will say, hands down, everybody talking about, oh, bud need to leave, bud need to leave. All the YouTubers, all the people saying, but and leave and do what? Right now, we are in the Go middle of a. Hey, listen. Right now, we are literally in the in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. Right now, there is no money right now for major fights. We already have fighters who did not want to fight Bud and are even looking at Kell Brook right now and saying that he should not have taken this fight for that little bit of money. To, to, right? to, to, to your so at the end of the day, hold up, let me, let me finish this. So then, on top of that, at the end of the day, all I'm going to say is what you do if you are Bud Crawford, right? You fight Kell Brook, you go ahead and beat his ass, all right? For all them UK fans, man, who think they who think he's gonna knock out Bud, that's what you do. And then after that, you sit down with old man Bob and you figure out what is the next move that he can possibly make. You do not right now without the money. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me sit there and try to do let, that. Let, bro. Let, let, that's let, wild. Let, let me make this point, and this is a common sense point. If Bob Arum couldn't get you the money before the pandemic, what makes you think he's going to get you the money during the pandemic? Like he was, no, hold on, let me finish the point. Let me finish one. Bob, Bob Arum hasn't been doing his job. That's why I brought up, oh, the, bro, that's why I brought up the previous pay-per-view fights. I, I, I think, I, I think when he fought Paul Seville's on pay-per-view, I, I, I think he might've bought like what, five buys or something like that. The point I'm trying to make is this, right? <laughs> you don't rely on a man that got you into the problem to get you out of the problem, right? You see all these fighters over here uh -huh. taking control of their career over, over at PBC. There is no reason why you stay over there and you, you try to force your way out into a better deal because the thing about an athlete is your clock is hey. ticking. His prime is slowly ticking away and you're talking hey, about hey, staying hey. with the same man that got you in the same issue. Let me no, no, and I'm going to say this one last go, thing go, about go, Bob go, Arum, go, and I'll let y'all have it. Go ahead. Right? There's a way Bob Arum takes care of fighters at the at their end, at the end of their lifespan. It's not very well. I don't believe he should have had Pacquiao in an outside event against a welterweight in Jeff Horn uh -huh. that size. Big ass right? Hey. And so, so, so speaking to the Kell Brook fight you're talking about, mm -hmm. fine. Gel, Kell Brook is a great fight. Matter of fact, I don't think he's going to knock out Kell Brook, and I think... Um, but Crawford was in a lot of trouble, particularly because of the contract that was negotiated. Uh -huh. How do you let a Kelbrook who's fought at middleweight ha rehydrate to any way he wants to? That doesn't seem like an A-side fighter deal right there. And that's the last thing I'll say about Bob hey. Arum and the whole situation. I'll hey, 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 hold on, hold on. First off, first off, I, I got to address a couple of points that you just made, man. First off, all right, if you're a bud, let me tell you why you do not leave until you see what Bob can do, all right? Because first off, listen, first off, first off, Q, you go, you go, you go, you go, you have to put some respect on Sean Porter's name, man. Because Sean Porter, Sean Porter is on the table. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sean Porter is on the table with, with Bob. And matter of fact, the way we know he's on the table, because we have heard confirmation from Sean Porter and Bud both saying that we are homies. We got each other number and we can call each other up and make the fight if it's necessary. So number two, all right. 
Spence and Bud have FaceTime. They also know each other. And they know at the end of the day, when that money is right, when that bag is right, they're going to make that fight. Okay. So at the end of the day, hold up, let me finish. So now at the end of the day, if you are Bud Crawford and you were sitting there with Bob Arum and you can get the Sean Porter fight, and you can get the Errol Spence fight. And the mega fight that everybody wants is the Manny Pacquiao fight. The only reason why he is fighting Kell Brook is because Pac-Man Pacquiao wanted to chill out during this pandemic and not go to war in the ring right now. So at the end of the day, if you can get Pac-Man, if you can get Sean Porter, and you can get Spence, you do not leave Bob Arum at this juncture in your career. Hey, hey. To go sit there for who? I, Thurman? I, I, who else? I, I, ho, 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 let me finish. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 hold on. Hold on. I didn't even you get to the rehydration wait, piece. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, 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 go just, 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 just in, in, the, in the interest of time. Um, since we've already heard from Bob Arum's biggest fan, I'm gonna let Q. Hey, go, no, go, bro. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Q, Q go ahead and take hey. us home. Go, Q, go ahead and take us home. J, J, J and JD. That, in particular, JD. You think fucking Sean Porter is a bigger name than, than Keith Thurman? You no, 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 no. Oh, oh. You're making a different no, no. point, bro. Nobody said that. Nobody said you, that, but you got to put some respect on his name and put some respect on Sean Porter's name hey, and don't sit there and say that you don't want to see. All right. Oh, hey, All right. Do you want to see? Two fighters. Hey, and go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Where, 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 nobody, where people say you haven't fought nobody at welterweight. You going to fight damn Sean, you going to fight Sean Porter over, over, Keith Thurman that hey. off the man in Pacquiao, which is one of the best fighters we ever seen in our fucking life. All right, all right, listen to, listen to right, this to you. So, listen so, to this to you. Hold on, no, let me tell you. No, no, Jay, Jay. No, let me, no, no, let, no, listen to this to you. Listen to this to you. Who the biggest name? No, but listen to this to you. I'm glad you just said that, Q, because let me tell you, now this is to Jay's rehydration point. Everybody has heard every damn word that y'all saying about Bud not fighting people. So when you talk about the rehydration clause with Kell Brook, at the end of the day, we all knew that nobody, because of the pandemic money, wanted to fight Bud right now. So Bud has heard everything that y'all have said as far as he's not fought anybody. So at the okay. end of the day, okay. Okay. it gave Kell Brook leverage. It gave, okay. it, no, no, hold up. It gave so Kell Brook leverage. Let me finish my point. It gave Kell Brook leverage. My so if you God. know, so you know at the end of the day, if you need a fight, if you're Bud, you're going to sit there and say, nah, screw that. I don't care how much he weighs, we're going to go ahead and go at it. So well, at the end that, of the day, that's Kale what it is. Well, well I, I, I'm going to go. We're going to go. But what I'm saying is nobody said, no, nobody no, sat there and said that they want right. to see Sean so, Porter so, over so, Thurman. So, so I might ask the engineer to no, cue, 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 cue the music already. But no, I mean, no. This is to be continued. No, this is to be continued. This is to be continued, but I will say. What was the question? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sean Porter or, or Keith Thurman, which one? Bro, and what I'm saying, bro, nobody said that. What I'm saying is, I'm we want to see both of them. I mean, of course, we want to see Thurman over that, bro. But don't say, but don't sit and say that. No, but the question to you, bro, the question to you is, would you want to see Sean Porter and Bud? Would you want to okay. see Sean Porter and Bud or not? Well, I, I tell you, yes what? or no? I tell you, yes that. or no? No, not not over, not over. Nobody said. I didn't ask you that question, bro. That's not the question. I said, would you want to see Sean Porter or Bud? Yes or no? No, bro, you talking all around. All right, hey, man, put some respect that, on Sean for the name, bro. Thank you, engineer. Put some respect on Sean for the name, bro. This is boxing. This, this is boxing box TV, man. You heard it. <laughs> we got a little heated, but we'll never this be defeated, man. man. We hope you love us like we love y'all. Hey, man, man we out of here, man. We out of here. Sean Porter, Showtime Porter, hey, and we got respect for your name if they don't. I know, man. Respect Sean Porter. All right, we out, man. Salute. No, I was